Time to break into Kefko's domain. This is it, y'all. And they want to know what's wrong. The statues give the espers the magical energy they need to live. If we destroy the statues, well, what'll happen? Really not sure, but. Yep. That's the uh, big crisis. The uh, statues get destroyed, magic disappears. But the real question is, what's going to happen to Terra? What up, y'all? It's your boy Juggle Night Seven Two back here, and I'm here with Misunderstood. Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry this took so long. Life got in the way, and so did the SNES Classic too. Mm-hmm. Along with the Famicom Classic. Yes. Yes, it did. Along with uh, sumo wrestling and... Yes! We've been uh, watching uh, sumo wrestling, believe it or not, on uh, NHK World. Yes. I don't know what it is, though, but man, just, you know, pleasure you know, of being in the, the, the world of pro wrestling, in the uh, wrestling as well. Mm-hmm. I gotta say, though, it's... I, I, it, it just hooked me. Yeah. I've always, I mean, when you're a fan of wrestling, I mean, you can become a fan of all, like, pretty much almost... All, if not all, the majority of all kinds of wrestling, even amateur. Oh, absolutely. Now, some of the people that I've met, though, that have been in the business, you know, were amateur wrestlers, too. Mm hmm But, yeah, as you can tell, we need three parties going into Kepka's Tower. Mm-hmm. Now, I gotta be honest, not sure if we're 100% prepared. Oh, yeah, here's something I wanted to tell you, too. Somehow, some way, whenever I was leveling up Cyan, when I had him equipped with the Bahamut Esper, he uh, gained more than 50% plus of HP. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened though, but you know, I was in the middle of grinding though, but before I knew it though, he was at 9,999. Everybody else is kind of, uh, oh, Saban's at 666. Now that's pretty metal. <laughs> Very metal. So, yes. Kefka's Tower, it requires teamwork, three parties, not to mention we're taking out the, the rest of the Roaring Triad and the final two legendary dragons. Mm-hmm. So, here we go. Ready or not? If you hear any, um, like, paper tearing sound, I mean ice cream, I actually, um, I was actually very, very starving. I had a Hard day at the office. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Still productive though. The statues are up ahead. Divided into three groups, use the white button to switch between them. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I forgot to equip everybody. <laughs> Probably my absolute favorite part of this game. Okay, so you were talking about uh, sumo wrestling, right? Yeah. Out of... Out of the wrestlers that we've, out of the sumo wrestlers that we've seen, or Rakishis. Yes, Rakishis. That we've seen, who's your favorite so far? Hadama Fuji. <laughs> yes. Hadama Fuji is my favorite right now. Mm-hmm. Hadama Fuji is a Yokozuna. And if you don't know what a Yokozuna is, though, that means sumo grand champion. Yeah. There's not very many of them in the world right now. Yeah, it, there actually isn't. Um, however, we, we, we have become fans of other sumo wrestlers as well besides Hanuma Fuji, although Hanuma Fuji is up there. <laughs> yes, uh, one of them being is Uda. Uda, I love Uda. The rookie Uda. Yeah. Yes. He, I want, correct us if we're wrong, in case any of you guys watch sumo. Okay, you were uh, mentioning uh, your favorites? Yeah, Uda is actually one of my favorites, Hanuma Fuji. Um, if I had to pick a top five, one would definitely be Hadama Fuji, Uda, Anosho. Yeah. Uh, not in any order, by the way. Particular, really. Just, just I'm just naming the ones in particular. But uh, Hadama Fuji, Uda, 
on our show. Touching Ocean, he's becoming a. Touching Ocean's a, a, is a, is a favorite of mine. Um, okay. Oh. Uh, who else? Kisuno Sato, that guy is that guy's awesome. Yeah, I like Kisuno Sato. Mm -hmm. He's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've been watching a lot of sumo wrestling in our spare time lately. Yeah, it, it's it's awesome. Takayasu, I think, is another one of my favorites. Okay, and who else? Uh, Takayasu, as I said. Um, boy, was that guy not pulling any punches. <laughs> oh no, he doesn't. Oh man. He has a beast. Let's see what else we got here too. Ooh, Hero's Ring. You know what? Let's switch uh, teams real quick. Let's see what we got. Let's see what tarot has got going on with her. Let's keep moving down on over here. Let's see. Oh, hold on a second. I'm gonna go grab this uh, treasure real quick. And you mentioned um, you uh, mentioned something about uh, Uda, about a uh, debuting, correcting or something. Yeah, he debuted in 2015. Let's see. Grab the treasure chest real quick. Cornet. Not like Jim Cornet. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep moving. So so apparently this mishap with the memory with the safe slot actually came in handy. <laughs> A couple of dark forces just cast a roulette on each other. Oh, fixed ice. This is Setsu's ultimate weapon, by the way. Hang on. Oh, I, I get seeing how Setsu uses cards and dice, so I guess I should go ahead and just bring up my little obsession. Oh yeah, and that is, um... Ever since I was a little girl, and uh, Carlos can actually, uh, Juggalo972 can actually back me up on this, I have an obsession uh, for uh, bicycle playing cards. Yeah. Yeah. True shit. <laughs> I don't know what it is. They just—they've always fascinated me. Even the standard playing cards. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, and I remember thinking that those were cigarettes. You know, I used to think that too. I used to think of. Yeah, we used to think uh, they were cigarettes. Yeah, bicycle cards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah. Yeah. Fast forward to some twenty odd years later. Mm-hmm. And they got like a fuck ton of bicycle playing cards. Bicycle. Yeah, they've uh, come up with some really unique uh, just designs of, uh, for it. Okay, this right here, though, is a perfect example of teamwork. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. We're going to switch to my team. Anyway, you're talking about um, uh, bicycle cars, right? Yeah. An example of teamwork. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. i got to switch to my team real quick. Yeah. By the way, Umaro is great for this, uh, this uh, dungeon. I'll tell you this right now, though, because even at a low level, not to mention... When you've got them equipped with the Rage Ring and the Blizzard Orb, mm -hmm. even though they are, you know, uh, ice based attacks, he's also very, very good with physical attacks, too. Unfortunately, though, you can't equip him with Espers. Because if I did, I'd give him a Torado Esper, mm -hmm. and his uh, strength would increase drastically. Oh, no shit. Yeah, because, well, the best way to say it, though, you know, it, it would just break the game at this point. Uh huh. Of course, you know, the Let, the, what is it, the Let River uh, uh, trick? Yeah, so Umaro is like the man, well, the beast, if you will. Yep. He's amazing. Just sit there and he'll throw somebody to attack you. You ask me, that's poetry in motion right there. Yeah, that's real. I'm going to go and give uh, him the Phoenix. Uh... You know what? I'll give him Phoenix, and I'll give Moog Starlet. <sighs> All right, here we go. Moving upwards. I just realized something. And what's that? Umaro and Mog are the fair and Tora Final Fantasy VI. You know what? You're right. There is a fatality that fair and Tor uses where Tor throws Farah through somebody and then Tor pulls her out of the body. That is actually very metal. Yeah, of that person's body. And what we just witnessed... But yeah, um, Farah Tor? Yeah, Umaro and Mog. Alright, sorry about that. We had a little, uh... Audio problem. It's fine now. It's fine. It's fine. But yeah, pretty metal though, you know. Oh, nice. You know what, with this team, what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to uh, put the Moogle Charm on. That way we don't have any uh, random encounters. 
Yeah. Although I will have to take it off a little bit later, though, because this team is going to need to level up. Itch. Okay, what you've noticed right here, by the way... What the hell? That is Ultima. Not Ultima Weapon, Ultima the Monster. Now, mind you, it is a rent, it is uh, an optional battle. Ah! But you know what? Nice landing. Oh, thanks. Let's see if we can go back up real quick. Yeah, we were in the restroom, were we? Yeah, that was actually a uh, uh, an old prison. Oh, okay. Yeah, from a uh, was it the not the Magitek Empire? Yeah. Hang ah. On. See if I can go. Okay, hey, let's go back real quick. Do we need to be concerned? Actually, we probably should. This is the only time I'm going to be using another safe state. Just for this. First boss fight in Kefka's Tower. <gasps> now, Tearson's birth. Forgotten in the river of time. I've had an eternity to ponder the meaning of things. And now I have an answer. Yeah, what? it's a machine. A very ancient machine. <laughs> now, the best way I can describe this... Oh, yeah, by the way, that's Umaro using um, the uh, Sasquatch stuff. I'm, <laughs> telling, I'm telling you, it's fair and tour. Yes, it is. Okay, now... Ultima has about 50,000 HP. He hits hard. Just like what you do with the uh, uh, Ultima weapon. Just on the, uh, what is it, on the uh, floating continent. Oh yeah, by the way. Uh, that magic. Oh shit. We've prepped for. Hmm? We've prepped very well for, mind you. I'm going to start using a uh, Dusk Re uh, Requiem with, um, with Moogle. Well, mm -hmm. Mog. Mm -hmm. I think Mog's doing a really good job leveling up, too. He is. Now, what I'm going to focus on, I'm going to focus on the physical attacks. Now, much like some of the other bosses in this game, well, on, in this uh, tower, if you will, they don't have a lot of weaknesses. So I... the best thing we can do is just hit, hit, hit hard. Mm -hmm. Plus, you know, I think you got two guys that'll help out, too. Alright, here we go. Uh, yeah, from what I remember from Kefka's Tower... There's a shit ton of bosses here. There's a sh shit ton of bosses and barely weaknesses. Well, some of you know, have a few weaknesses. And may I mention, if you remember, uh, when you left Vector in the World of Balance, the machine, uh, Guardian, mm -hmm. that's literally guarding Vector from the uh, gates that was invincible, mm -hmm. is here too. However, he is not invincible here. Huh. Oh, please don't. Oh, we didn't stop him. Shit. Okay, Mog is gonna keep dancing. So what we're gonna do is keep on striking. Mm-hmm. Keep on moving. Just keep on moving. Keep on moving. Just keep on moving. All right, here we go. Oh hell. Yeah. That happens to be Flare Star. One of the harder hitting attacks, though. That doesn't seem to be doing very much damage. I remember that. I remember doing. Way more damage. Well, thankfully, you know, after you know years of experience, mm -hmm. I've uh, found a way to prep for that. The fuck? An unknown light surrounded Atmo. Oh, Ultima, if you will. Let's see. What's going to be happening? I forget what he's going to be doing. I believe he's going to be uh, uh, using Grand Cross. Oh no. <laughs> Hang on. Let's uh see where we're at with this real quick. Oh, I think I have scant. No, I don't have scant. Oh, well, not like bad as anyways. What the fuck? Yep. I don't remember him being that easy. Well, you know what? Neither do I. But you know what? Preparation is key. Bravo. Thank you. Oh yeah. A save point. So what we're gonna do? Yeah, it, just save. Just yeah, we're gonna tent. We're gonna pitch a tent real quick, and we're gonna save it up. And uh, you know what? We're gonna continue this on the next episode. So uh, I'll see you as we resume Kefka's Tower. We still got two other parties we gotta work with too. Mm 
Mm -hmm. So uh, much love and uh, peace.